Hey y'all, this is BG Codes and I am Brad Garropy. In today's devlog, I'm gonna talk about how I was wrong about how I retrieved my Twitch streaming status. If you'll remember, I made a devlog not too long ago about this little streaming notification here that would show up anytime I was live on Twitch. Corbin Crutchley reached out to me and said, hey, I think there's a problem in your code. Your token's gonna expire one day. And I said, well, I'll tackle that problem when it happens. And lo and behold, like a week ago, my OAuth token actually expired and my website was throwing errors. Uh, many thanks to the user on my Discord server who let me know about this. So I set out to fix the problem. Here's the thing. Twitch's documentation isn't great about authentication. And I found this website to use to generate an OAuth token. And it turns out that this token is definitely temporary and not something intended to live forever. Moreover, it may have been a security issue to use it from the browser, which is what I was doing. So I had to go back to the drawing board and figure out how do I make API calls to Twitch that are properly authenticated through OAuth and run from a serverless function? Well, thankfully, Jason Langsdorf had really already solved this problem. He has this Git repository and an associated NPM package called Git Twitch OAuth. I didn't actually use the package. I just inspected the source code because I wanted to understand how it worked. And I took this implementation, made my own serverless function to first get the OAuth token on every request and then ask for the data that I was looking for. So here's the relevant commit, and I will put this in the show notes below, as well as Jason Langstor's repo. Here's what I had previously. And I'll bump the font size up just a little bit. I was reaching out directly to the Twitch API from the front end to query my channel status using a generated Twitch OAuth token from this OAuth token generator site. Eventually it expired. So what I needed was a way to grab a brand new OAuth token every time. And I couldn't do that from the client side because I found that when you generate OAuth tokens, you need to provide a client secret that's not supposed to be shared with anybody. So what I did was make a Netlify function called twitch.js that first grabbed an OAuth token from this id.twitch.tv OAuth endpoint. I do this by using my client ID and my client secret. Uh, the client secret is not intended to be shared in the browser or with anybody else. Once I have that token, I can then use that OAuth token in the authorization header to actually authenticate uh, the, the search query to grab my channel status. And I've been running this with no problem because I'm grabbing a new token on every single request. It means that it should never, ever expire. And I spoke to Jason Langsdorf and he said that he hasn't had Twitch yell at him about how many times he's created new tokens. So I think this type of interaction is fine and totally supported. So from here on out, we shouldn't see any more errors with my streaming status. And I hope that if you inspect this source code, you might understand a little bit better how OAuth authentication works with Twitch and how useful serverless functions are. Thanks for watching. I'll catch you on the next one. Peace out.